Friends, welcome to Mero True Life Story. If you have not subscribed to Mero True Life Story, please subscribe to Mero True Life Story. As you do so, may God bless you in Jesus' name, inshallah. And for those of you that are subscribed, I pray may God grant your heart desire this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My lovely fans, <laughs> Pete Edoshe sent for his grandchildren. We all know that May Edoshe children are doing really fine, really good, both in school, at home, and in every aspect of their life. May Edoshe indeed is a great mother. She is not just a great and beautiful woman, she is also a great mother to her children. May Edoshe always put her children first before her. And May Edoshe make sure that this divorce between she and Yola Edoshe never affects his ch her children. May Edoshe is giving her children the best of all, even if some haters, which we know that definitely they will always be there, are saying that Daniela is living too big. Like, guys, how old is Daniela? Is she a minor? No. Is she more than 19? Yes. So, why can't she live alive? <laughs> So, my lovely fans, why people are busy saying what they don't know? What they don't know really is that May Edoshe children don't balance. May Edoshe make sure she fights to give her children everything which their father would have done for them. That space of a father, these children are not missing at all. Mm. These children are not missing it. We can't say that of Zeni now. We are talking about Daniela and Kai. You see that space of a father, these children know they miss her. Depends on the kind of mother we you have. Depends on the, your mother. May Edoshe make sure, say our children will not break down missing their father. Every space, everything, when it be say you like Edoshe is supposed to do. May Edoshe is trying her best to give it times two to our children. Now, we also are successful may edoshe is mm. so my lovely fans hmm. according to we all know that may edoshe children are really doing fine may edoshe try for your children but do not be small according to the information they say peter edoshe sent message to may edoshe for this success when a grandchildren become so, according to the information, my lovely fans, Pete Edoshe made it very clear to May Edoshe <laughs> that May Edoshe should please bring the grandchildren to him. According to Pete Edoshe, he said, since the father, their father, which is Yola Edoshe, is not present in their life right now, that Daniela and Kai, they need the blessing of a father. And thank God, though, say he, Peter Edoshe, is still there alive. That may Edoshe should bring these children to him. Let him bless them. <laughs> My lovely fans, wonders indeed, they say, shall never end. <laughs> when we thought that we have heard it all, another one don't come ring our ear again. Peter Edoshe made it clear to May Edoshe that the stage with Daniela and Kai Dana. They need the blessings and prayer of their father to move on in life. According to Pete Edoshe, Pete Edoshe say, if May Edoshe really want the children to be successful in life, to be for them to reach their destiny where God, where God ordained for them, that May Edoshe need to bring Daniela and Kai, especially Kai. <laughs> Let him lay his hands on Kai. And pray for Kai for, so that success, more door opening will come to him. Peter Edoshe told me Edoshe that these are what Yol Edoshe is supposed to do in the life of his children when he not do. Yol Edoshe is supposed to pray for his children. Stand this time around, especially when Kai just starts hand over the business of the family. Yola Edoshe is supposed to be the one that will hand over that business and pray for Kai. But since Yola Edoshe decided to bend his head like Nigeria condition and economic, the father decided to play the role of Yola Edoshe for his grandchildren by telling May Edoshe to bring them to the village for prayers. Mm. 
My people, according to the information, our Queen May Edo she no one hear anything at all, at all, at all, at all. May Edo she told Peter Edo she say may Peter Edo she no worry. Say he don't carry Kai and Daniel a go church. Say Reverend Father has already prayed for them. Say they are very fine. Say make Peter Edo she no worry. Peter Edo she told May Edo she say he know the talk of prayer for church. He's talking about a father blessing unto the children. Since Yole Doshe no fit one, may Edoshe should bring those children to him. Let him lay his hands on their head and bless them. Hey, hey. I laugh in Chinese. I want to please do one small short video for you with my voice. Only my voice. So, uh -huh. I want to tell many parents. A lot of mistakes where many people they make. Hmm? Where many people don't know. Peter Doshe said, bring them. Let me lay my hands on their head and bless them. <laughs> not everybody, we all know, say this life where we day, not be everybody bad. Just the way we have the bad egg, and so we get good egg. Hmm. So, for those people that like people putting hands on their head, it is good for you. If you like, carry your head, put for their head, make them the pizza for you. No problem. But I always talk about little children that depend on you as a parent. Children that are still looking onto you to, to protect them. Now those ones, now they always be my concern. So if you know you have a child, this is my own side though. Not everybody will believe me, but who want to believe, who want to know, should know. If you have a child, don't let anybody put hand on their head. Never allow anybody to put hands on their head. If you know you have a spiritual eyes and you can see the person standing in front of your child, that that person have a pure spirit and that person do not have any negative thing in him, let him lay his hands even on top of their brain. No problem. But if you know you don't have any spiritual eyes, you cannot see anything, don't let anybody lay hands on your children. The crown of your children is in their head. Their destiny is in their head. Their star is in their head. Their glory is on their head. Don't let anybody put their negative hand on their head. If they say, I want to pray for your child, tell them to pray, hold their hands. My people, lay hand on people it not, not be something when it's good at all. Your glory, you know what that they call star, what that they call destiny, what that they call glory, what that they call success, your favor, everything that you brought into this life is in your head. It is like a crown that you are wearing. If evil person, destiny stealer, star stealer, glory stealer, blessing stealer, if you go and put your head, your head for them, they will collect your blessing. They will collect that crown where you put on top of your head. Everybody in this world is wearing different kind of crown on their head. Some people, they shine. Some people know they shine. They'll say, ah, this person start they shine. How did they see it? Because you are wearing it in your head like a crown. So wherever you are, now in the face, they the first see before they see you. That crown, that destiny, that your star, that your blessing, you are wearing it on top of your head. That's why the enemy can see it anywhere. You know, feel high down because it's on top of your head. So by the time you carry that your head now, where your destiny day, where your crown of star, your joy day, when you carry it to them, they put their hand on that star. They can steal it easily. They can destroy it. They can collect it. They can do anything they want with it. So if you are a parent, carry your brain, give them a the poor hand. Now you know. But protect a child that do not know anything that is depending on you.
Don't let anybody lay hands on your child's head. Like I said before, if you get spiritual eyes and you can see the person standing before your child, then fine, let them put their hands. But if you not get spiritual eye, you know they see, tell the best pastor, say, make he hold your child's hand. Anything, let them hold his hand or a hand and do the prayer. Don't let anybody touch the crown upon your children's head. So, my people, according to Pete Edoshi, Pete Edoshi said that May Edoshi should bring them, let him lay his hands on their head and pray for them. <laughs> but fortunately, this is when I talk, so May Edoshi do not know about it. But God was there before her. May Edoshi refused. May Edoshi refused by saying that she have taken them to the church where they have already prayed for them. That prayer for her is enough. Since you let Edoshi know they make it, Papa, no worry. Say, God, if God really wants to bless our children, God will bless them with or without their father blessing. So, my lovely fans, according to the information, they say, Peter Edoshi, tell me Edoshi. Say, make me Edoshi think I'm more. Say this thing is something that has been happening from generation. Not be your Edoshi line. Now it will come end. Say any child that has become successful, there is a special prayer that needs to be prayed on that child by the father of the child. My people, here I come seeing again. By the father of the child. One, Peter Edoshi is not their father, it's their grandfather. Okay, a grandfather can pray for a child. But I believe that. It will work more if the father do it. Then number two, the father is not present in the life of these children. So, why must his prayer be so important? Why must Yole Doshe prayer be so important? He has not been in the life of these children. These children have moved on. So, why would they always want to remind them of the, of the whole story? So, my lovely fans, now, Peter Doshe say, Make me Edoshi bring them home. Make him lay hands on them. It's not their father. Their father is Yola Edoshi. Now Yola Edoshi, I suppose they insist. Since Yola Edoshi bend the head like Nigeria economic, why not let the children be? May Edoshi said she have already taken them to the church. Peter Edoshi said that one not rich. Say May Edoshi need to bring them to him. Let him lay his hands on them. My people, May Edoshi say no few workouts. It be like say these days God is talking to me Edoshi. God is showing me Edoshi many things through vision, through dreams. You know your vision is your dream. <laughs> your vision is your dream. Everything about you is your dream. So maybe God is talking to me Edoshi these days. Who know? Because the way she has been rejecting these people is very strange. So my lovely fans, according to the information now, they say me Edoshi say umbano. Say, make Peter Edoshi leave them. Say, since their papa not present, Baba God, when he did heaven, he don't already present for a children's life. That Peter Edoshi should not disturb himself. Because Peter Edoshi went to the extent of telling me, Edoshi, if you cannot come, let him come. <laughs> that he know that we are too busy and everywhere get us a be, you know, that he can come. That he just want to lay his hands and pray for his children, his grandchildren. Because this is thing, a thing that needs to be done. But since, um, since Yole Doshe is not present, let him do his duty as a grandfather. Mm. Fans, <laughs> may Edoshe have, have made it clear, say, his children not still they go. No matter how Peter Edoshe explain her rich. According to May Edoshe, May Edoshe says she have already blessed his children. Like, guys, hmm. These children, with or without your Edoshi blessing, they have been successful. God has been blessing them. Everything has been going well. So do they really need this father blessing? Though I know that a father blessing is a good thing. That's why I say this is a very sensitive matter. No child deserves um, to be treated the way Yule Edoshi is treating his children. Yule Edoshi needs to be present in the life of his children, even if he marry a second wife. But because of the way Yule Edoshi they behave, that's why the courts 
gave him distance from his children because of his character and everything. And Yole Doshi was not just chased out of the life of his children. Yole Doshi have at least one day in a week. Yole Doshi have at least one day in a week that he can spend with the children. But Yole Doshi has never obeyed that order. Yole Doshi wants the children to follow him. Make he carry go be to Jokwesu. Make they stay there with him. Then when they stay with him, he go still carry the come give me a doshi. <laughs> I laugh in Chinese. So my lovely fans, right now, Yole Doshi have at least a day out of a week to stay with his children. Which he never obeyed. May Edoshi has been carrying this thing, fighting everything and all. Now that these children, God does bless them, say, God does still open their way small for now. We know that it will be big in future for these children. Now, now, the family need to put their hands on their head to bless them. Mm. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, no. Uh -huh. Blessing from a father, a grandfather is a bet now better blessing. But what I'm saying is that with the way things they go on, May Edoshe is confused because she herself let us know, say, she don't know who to trust. Hey, she used her thing for us. Say, she don't know who to trust anymore because everything way there around her, she see with her eye, what it happen. That's why she sing that song. <laughs> so, my lovely... May Edoshe has made it clear that her children, say, they know they step an inch to any place say god of god has already blessed her children and the blessing of god will continue to follow them according to me edoshe letting peter edoshe know that there is a father which is greater than all father on earth that is baba god no matter how your edoshe try to draw her back that god will surely lift her up so according to me edoshe letting peter edoshe know say now god now the wrong things for them since then so maybe I want to bless children when it be said they're not dead there when children they grow. <laughs> so according to the information, my lovely fans, hmm, May Edoshe have taken the best decision. Yes, yeah, so for me, I think so. Because carry your children, go give person pull hand for their head. <laughs> we need to ask question. Who is that person that is putting hand on your head? Who is that person who won't touch your head? Apart from your father, your grandfather, which we all know that they cannot harm you but with these way things they go on for me edoshi the problem is trust issue may edoshi no longer trust the edoshi family these are family that may edoshi can leave her children travel for one month safe even for one year she not will feel her but you see now may edoshi don't want to even try it at all so my lovely fans leave your comments in the comment section let us know what you also think this is my real true life story if you have subscribed to my youtube channel god bless you for those of you watching and have not subscribed please subscribe as you do so may god bless you in jesus name inshallah and for those of you that are subscribed i pray may the light of god shine upon you and your family in jesus name inshallah